Hello friends, good morning. So today I'm going to review about the RV Institute of Technology and Management, which is RVITM. So I'm getting a request from a lot of students to review this college. So this is a new college which is part of the you know, RV group. And if you see the RVITM is uh, based out of Bangalore and it's basically in the JP Nagar area, which is uh, uh, you know quite in the center of the city, right? So I'll cover all of the details about this college. And as you know, this is part of the RV group of colleges, right? So RVCE is the number one engineering college in Bangalore, right? And Karnataka. And it's part of the same Rashtriya Shikshan Samiti Trust, which has started this college, right? So I'll cover all of the, you know, seat matrix fees and talks about the campus and the placement, right? So before that, you can see this is a new infrastructure. This college started in 2020. So it's not even one batch has passed of this college. And this is the library and the classroom, it looks like. And this is the computer center, which is part of the, you know, academic uh, infrastructure. And then they have a lot of, you know, good modern teaching infrastructure to facilitate education. And, and in campus itself, they have, uh, you know, a facility for gym and the uh, other physical education part of it. And since, since this is not a very big campus, only a couple of sports they have, which is like uh, lawn tennis and volleyball, right? So now coming to the seat matrix, so total it has 120 seats in the computer science engineering which is the main branch and then information science 60 seats, uh, electronics and communication some more 60 seats and mechanical 60. So there are only four branches here there is no civil and there is no triple E and the all other related uh, branches which we will see and the, there are ANO, AIML and the data sciences branches are also there. So. Now coming to the cutoff of you know CET and the Comet K for this college, it's in very high demand and I will tell you why it is in high demand. And uh, 3100 was the high uh, and, and 4978 was the low rank. So basically between 3000 to 5000 rank, the CET cutoff was there in 20, this is 1920 and information science closed at 6600 electronics at 8400 and mechanical at 32000 so through cet general merit category everything closed most of the three top three branches by 8400 and mechanical by 32000 similarly if you see through comet k also computer science closed at 8500 information science 15000 ece 25000 and mechanical 50 55,000 right so except mechanical all other branches have a very uh, high cutoff and it's very difficult to get into this college but uh, there is also a you know, management seat quota which is available here so if you want to get uh, admission through management quota then mechanical engineering fees there's no one time but the per year fees is 2 lakhs so by 8 lakhs you can get into mechanical engineering uh, ECE there's a one time fee of one of donation of 1 lakhs and then there is every year 3 lakhs you have to pay so 3 fours are 12 and total 13 lakhs you can get ECE computer science you can get at 5 lakhs one time charges plus 5 lakhs per year also so 5 into 4 20 plus 5 25 lakhs so 25 lakhs you can get computer science and similarly at 19 lakhs you can get information science so this is quite costly college which is you know CSC at 25 lakhs and information science at 19 and ECE at 13 and they have not even seen any placement and not even first batch has passed out of this college right and the reason why it is showing such a you know high demand is basically if you see this is mentioned in the college that's part of the rvc group and that you know um, students once they are in the final year the placement officers of rv college of engineering and rv itm will coordinate and schedule the joint placement so there will be a common placement along with the rvc college of engineering that's uh, in the uh, and, and that will result in a good amount of placements for this college is an expectation so will it, will it be a same level of placement as rvce the answer may, not, may, may be no because you know the cutoff and all those say of these colleges is entirely different from main rv college of engineering and the quality of students will be very much different from main rv college where uh, computer science closes within 300 400 ranks right and infrastructure is also not that great here but one thing is definitely that it will have a decent placement if not equal to RVC. So that's all my understanding. Uh, thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe this video as well as you know subscribe to the channel to get similar updates. Take care. Bye.